Yes. All right, here we are. Post-game interview with the winners of SIVO Season 2, No Fire Wisp Bottoms, very own It's Your Boy, as well as Gofu. Uh, we had some questions come out in the stream. I have some of my own, so first and foremost, you guys made it pretty easily through the upper bracket going into this uh, tournament. Were there any teams that you were maybe worried about uh, looking at the 16 teams that made the playoffs? Um, not really. I mean, yeah, we recognized I, some of the people on like the other teams, but not a lot of them. It was like there were a couple teams with decent players, but a lot of them were just like complete no names to us, at least. Yeah, we just didn't recognize most of the people. Yeah. Um, I expected faded to go a little further with the likes of Corey Jabano doing well in MLG, but it looks like Fagos took them out uh, 2-0. And go through your mic is absolutely terrible, but we'll <laughs> <laughs> It's like um, if you it's too far to one side, it does that. That was pretty much my main question about as much backstory as I could have gathered there from the brackets. Not is having, my mic recovered? Yeah, it has recovered a little bit. Um, let's talk about, I guess, gameplay styles. Uh, you play a support, and it looks like Gofu, you do solo lane or off lane. I mean, yes. talk about, I guess, your gameplay a little bit. Um, I guess, I mean, we, uh, we really like aggressive drafts. The, the first, um, the draft we had in the first game was, like, every hero we wanted. Like, none of their bands were heroes we wanted. Um, so, like, that was, like, that perfectly fit to our play style. Uh, just, like, really aggressive bounty hunter, wisp. I mean, I mean like, everything on that lineup is just extremely gank aggressive. Yeah, oriented. that was hyper-aggressive is what I kept calling uh, it, pretty much. We really yeah. like, we like playing like that, specifically. Um... Because, I mean, the one game we lost in the playoffs was because we drafted Alchemist and tried to do, like, 4 Protect 1, and we just suck at that. But um, as, as far as, like, individual playstyles go, I mean, I just sort of try to fit that as a support player. I mean, maybe go through something else he wants to add. Yeah, I think uh, KBH, our captain, our mid player, and I are just very aggressive players overall. So when we draft an aggressive lineup, it just complements that playstyle. Because when you're playing a 4 Protect 1, you kind of have to choke back the aggression and play a more defensive game, which is really just not how we play the game. Yeah, and maybe even a little outdated or out of the meta, as we saw. Yeah. I mean, mouse sports, that's pretty much what they do, and obviously they didn't do so hot at TI3, but... Yeah, and, that, and we noticed that Fabulous Fagos, when we were facing them in the upper bracket final, we went through and watched a couple of their VODs, and they seemed to just do that every single game, and we knew that our play style would work pretty well against them. Unfortunately, some people in our trial lanes didn't do so well <laughs> in the game. That was not my fault. I'm not going to name... Uh, our support players like BZM and uh. Well, yeah, by his reaction, I think we figured out who it was. Um, but now we've got we. I'll go for some chat questions so they feel included, of course. Um, KVH says he told you guys to throw for headphones. You idiots didn't want it. <laughs> Viable. I think that's. I think that's fair. Uh, question for No Fire Wisp Bottom is Clark about that hashtag Gap Life. I don't know what that means. But I don't either. Like he has. I think he is. Name. I think he is. I think he is. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's that answer, I guess. Does he work at the Gap? I, I don't know. He works in North Dakota. Is there even? Do they, they have? Do they gap have stores North in North Dakota? <laughs> um, when do No Fire Wisp Bottom T-shirts go on sale? Asks Adant Gaming. Also, you probably know these people. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, that guy's one of KVH's friends. So, t-shirts? Uh, I don't works. think we have t-shirts yet. Um, if you want to make them, you could be our distributor. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I pretend to be a graphic design sometimes with my overlays, but I'm really not great at it. I just got my hands on Photoshop CS6 as well as After Effects, so look out for some embers and animated shenanigans soon. Some um, fire wisps, maybe? Yeah, maybe <laughs> some fire wisps. So make sure to subscribe to see where I take that. Just don't put them on bottom. No. You got, yeah, you put Wisp on top. That was interesting. Oh, yeah, our thought process behind that was, like, we saw they picked, like, Slardar at the end, and we're just like, well, they're probably aggressive try with the Sitch, Slar, or Rubik. And, I mean, we're a little bit weaker there, so we wanted to dodge it. Um, it, it's, it was nice that we were on Radiant, because we had the option of doing pulls on the uh, Dire Hard Camp, which still got me XP. Um, like, you really want the, the Wisp to be getting a lot of XP to get that fast 6, and uh, if we were on Dire, it would have been a lot harder because we couldn't have uh, pulled that camp for me. That's so why uh, we picked Radiant. Yeah, Radiant Advantage working out there for us really well. 
Yeah, it did work out. And I even noticed once um, Bounty Hunter, and that was you, right, Gofu? Yes. Once you were able to rotate out of the lane, the Spirit Breaker, which was you, it's your boy. No, I was, no, that was, that was Milkman. Oh, yeah, you were with. Helen Pudge. Yeah, so then he rotated down to get his levels. You kept uh, in lane with the Nakes to get your levels, and it, it worked out as well as KVH yeah. getting first blood in mid. Uh, it was pretty nice. Yeah, I, I was really surprised. When well, what happened, I don't know if you guys noticed, damage. or communicated was, you guys went for a gank, and then two TPs came in and then got cancelled, so KVH knew he could get away with anything in the mid lane, and uh, went for the first blood. Yeah, it was it was good. Um, I was like a little bit worried, because uh, like 40 seconds prior, I remember looking at him, like losing all his health to a, to a link in a whatever the hell the Razor's Q is called. Plasma and I was like, uh-oh. He was complaining. He was like, yeah, Razor's cool mid guys. And I was like, uh-oh. But it ended up working out pretty well. He right. plays a really good Storm. Yeah, indeed. It seems to have a lot of fans. You got some more questions. Will you spend your prize money at a dollar store? Probably not. Probably not. How much of Clark's winnings will go to pizza? <laughs> 200%. <laughs> Clark answered 100%. He answered it for himself there. And he did subscribe to my Twitch channel, so shout out to Clark and to anyone else who wants to subscribe right now. It would mean a lot to me, uh, casting these games. And what do you guys think about five-man strength lineups? I'm assuming, maybe, did you guys have a five-man strength lineup in... Um, no. Shadowfiend's a no. Totally. And so is Bounty isn't strength. We've played a five-man strength lineup before. It just sucks because you sort of have the dual melee support, and while well, you're your trial lane's all melee, it's fun. Like you can pick. Like I think we did like alchemist and spirit breaker or something to support, and it worked out all right. But I don't know. Your yeah, lanes kind of suffer a little bit. Wisp is strength, right? Yes, wisp is strength. Is it the only range strength here? I think it might be. Uh, Puscon, I think. Well, he doesn't count. Yeah. He's the worst. Um, now that you've won Sivo, will you be less of a Nazi mod in KVH's Dota stream, Gofu? <laughs> if Gofu is still alive. I think he might have completely died. The answer to that question is no, because Gofu is the most Nazi mod. Should I make him a mod in my Twitch, or would that be a bad move? <laughs> no, that would be a bad move. Alright. Hello? 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 Yeah? Am I back? Okay. Yeah. Um, I will reign more fiercely, and if that question were asked in KVH's stream, I would have banned the question. <laughs> <laughs> also, you should definitely make me a mod. Um, I don't know. Oh, and while we're on streams, uh, yeah, we should plug con stream. Twitch.tv slash KVH Dota. Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Go subscribe to him. I have. I watch him. So have I. He watches me. I haven't got the, uh, the ban stick from GoFu yet. Mm. Soon. Soon. Question for Gofu. Wait, wait. Maybe some more before that. What does Fire Wisp mean? Or what does your name mean in general? Uh, we took a bunch of successful teams that had North Americans old names before they got sponsored oh, and I put them all together know. and slapped a Wisp in there because my old team was called EO Best Hero. What is... So that's what Wait, where's fire? So bottom bottom is the bottom. Is no tide hunter? Yeah, the no, comes no from? tide hunter is the no, and then complexity, which is now well used to be liquid. Oh, it was uh, called Team Fire. That's a terrible Before they got name. sponsored. That's <laughs> a pretty fucking bad name. <laughs> oh, okay. So you threw a wisp in there. That explains that. Um, will KVH motivate Beatus to hit the gym? <laughs> mm, I don't even know how to respond to that question. Do they know each other in real life? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> no. Okay. KVH reports that he occasionally spies Demon at his gym, but is too afraid to approach him. <laughs> we always tell him to go say hi, and he's like, what the, what the hell do you expect me to do? Walk up, you're like, oh, hey, are you EG Demon? You won't do it. Demon so if you're would in probably Kong's troll stream, him anyways. If you're in KVH's stream, tell him to be brave around Demon. <laughs> and then Gofu will delete your message. <laughs> no. I only delete messages that are about me. <laughs> um, question, how would it feel to be carried by your CM and Centaur? Um, I feel like that was asked by Jay Wong as my hero, who yeah. was the Centaur. Oh. Am, I, am I correct? Yeah, yeah, you did get picked off quite a few times on your uh, Timber Slaughter. 
I mean, if they're going to focus their attentions on ganking the timber saw, I'm totally okay with that. Like, I, if I'm going to play aggressively and they're going to come and gank me, that just means our Weaver and Shadow Fiend are farming, and they're yeah. not going to win the game. I mean, they, they chose, like, the weakest of our cores, I guess, if you can even call timber a core. So, so yeah. To focus I, on also the hardest to kill. Aggressive farming, because if they're going to put that much effort into it, it's worth it. The trade is bad for them. Yeah, I mean, Clark did come out with... Drums, treads, deso, BKB at like 26, 27 minutes, I think. So definitely paid off. Um, and you guys can tell me whenever you're done with this, by the way. Question for... No, that was that one. Seems like a flame, says KGH. Uh, is Gofu Miru? I don't know what that means. Maybe you do. <laughs> I'm not Miru. Okay. Miru is um, a sociopath we used to play with. So... I stole a lot of money. He stole a lot of things. All right. Um, anyway. what is what have you felt? Did you guys play in any of the previous the Sivo Resurgence or Season One? What do you think of Sivo? Are you going to continue playing in it? It was pretty good. Paladin is sometimes annoying, but indeed, that's fine. Uh, the hardest part is just the scheduling, which I'm sure you guys don't see that much of. But some teams are very hard to schedule around. I, I like know the, one, but I won't flame them right now. For the winner's bracket final, Khan had to actually skip two classes to play. Well, I mean, who wants to go to class? I mean, it was the first week of school as well, so it's <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> well, that's no... Maybe it was the first day. Like, here's the syllabus. Go. Leave us. Uh, Dota or school? Come on, says KVH. I'm assuming that's Khan, right? Yeah. 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 KVH is just his initials. Initials, yeah, I discovered that the other day. Yeah, I don't know, it's about all the questions I have uh, for you guys. Anything else about, like, drafts, or our choices of bands or picks, or...? Well, you were taking out Abaddon. You just, he's pretty annoying uh, with borrowed time and the, the aphotic shield purging everything. Yeah. Um, we've just been practicing with him, and we just haven't quite figured out completely how to play around him, so we just figured we'd ban him out. Yeah, so not picking him and don't want to play against him. Makes sense. Batrider, pretty standard as well. Uh, who like, the other uh, top-tier supports are pretty comfortable playing against. Like, we have no qualms playing against Visage or Naga or something like that. Although he did take out Naga in the second game. Yeah, we thought they were going to grab it uh, second pick. And because, I mean, Naga Visage is incredibly strong, uh, they opted for something else. I don't remember. Clock? Yeah. I believe so. So, I mean, there was no reason not to take it out. Bacon does we... play a good clock. Yeah, he hooked me a lot of times. I just uh, I like his cogs placements were uh, pretty good that game. Obviously they lost still, but always just sidestepping to push everybody. He didn't I don't think he played top that well though. Yeah, maybe not in the lane, but uh, It's a really hard lane for clockwork, but or at one point he melee. wasted all his mana just uh cogsing and batteries holding me and since I have reactive armor it actually just didn't do anything. Yeah, reactive armor is uh, definitely a spell, that's for sure. Two points in that, almost invincible. In terms of draft, you mentioned you don't like the 4 Protect 1 meta, so we talked about that. Uh, who Your mids were the Shadow Fiend, who somehow didn't ever get ganked, and then the Storm Spirit, which is, I'd say, pretty standard these days. Carries, did you go with Weaver both games? Mm, first game we had Nakes. Nakes first game right. they banned Weaver in the first two. Yeah. yeah, here's a good question. Why aren't you guys in MLG? Because uh, uh, I was at a wedding during the qualifiers, and Clark was out of town as well, so we just didn't participate. Um, wasn't someone else missing too? Wasn't Alan Pudge gone as well? I'm pretty sure Maybe. it was only me and me and Con that were around. We really wanted to, but we just didn't have people there on that weekend. We'll probably like once the things for Columbus come out, we'll definitely play in that. Yeah, I think you guys would go pretty far. Would I would assume would qualify for MLG Full Sail? I, I think the favorites in there are. Dignitas or parts of Dignitas, whatever you want to call that, and stay free. Any other favorites you guys have out of that? Uh, Shadow Fiend eats cake. Shout out to my boy Relic. Relic, yeah. Shout out to Dark Falco. Obligatory. Hmm. But yeah, that's about all I got. I mean, I'd like to ask more about the drafts and playstyle, or like comment on things, but I've really only cast you guys about one time, and my <laughs> internet cut out. So looking forward to casting you more in season three. Which you will, right. you guys will be taking part in, I assume. Yeah, I'm probably sure we will be. All right, sounds pretty good. I guess I'll wrap it up there. Uh, you guys can make your final shoutouts, and then we'll just call it a call it a stream. 
Uh, shout out to Milkman. Um, negative one shout out to Milkman. I think that's it. I don't know. Okay, yeah, so Milkman, that's it for me. <laughs> you end on a neutral note at zero shoutouts. <laughs> I tried Milkman. Okay, KVH, controversial. Worst member of No Fire Wisp Bottom. Uh, definitely BZM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for uh, Con on this one. Just for posing the question. No, because he always he just drafts Shadow Fiend for himself every game. He doesn't and care every, what we oh, say. You don't, you don't hear this, but in Mumble. He drafts Shadow Fiend. He's like, okay, guys, stop begging me to play Shadow Fiend. <laughs> and he's just very Even though no one asked him to play Shadow Fiend. <laughs> like, right. he just, he always picks it into these, like, awful matchups, too. Like, he picks it straight into Quap. He's done it into OD a couple times. He picks it into PA. He just doesn't give a shit. Loves that hero. Yeah, interesting against those three heroes for sure. But I guess that wraps it up. Once again, congratulations to uh, It's Your Boy and Gofu, as well as the entirety of No Fire Wisp Bottom for winning $500 in Sevo Season 2. I'm Helium. I've had a great time casting. Big shout out to Orbit for helping me cast as well. And yeah, that's all I got. See everyone later. Thanks for having us. Yep, no problem. Thanks for having us. Bye.